Hey guys, so today I was going to make a video about how I do my herb runs, um, just to kind of show some efficient ways to go about doing a run, um, and then also talk about some of the alternatives if uh, maybe you don't have the requirements for some of the things that I do. Um, so let's just get into it. Uh, just go to any bank, get set up. Um, I usually go ahead and throw everything away and then uh, go over to my farming uh, tab that I have set up. Uh, RuneLite lets you make these um, custom tag tabs, um, which I highly recommend doing if you use RuneLite. Um, you can just edit a tag on an item in your bank and then it'll show up as a tab over here and you can just drag, drag things into that and it'll add it to a little custom tab here. So this is my farming one. Um, and first I'm gonna grab all the things that I wear um, on the run which is just these four things. Um, farming cape to increase the yield of herbs. Um, Secatures to also increase the yield. And then the Xerix talisman for teleports and the explorer's ring for teleports. And then I grab all of the items that I actually take with me, um, which is these here. Um, if you don't have some of these teleports, you might want to grab Graceful to wear. Um, I just don't think it's worth the time for me equipping it all, so I don't wear it anymore because I don't run out of energy on my run. Um, also, you might want to grab a rune pouch um, with runes for um, resurrect crops here, which I usually use, um, but because my crops don't die very often, I don't bring it anymore. If you're a low level, you might want to bring it if you find that things are dying. Um, but if something does die, I just run to the bank and grab the runes because it's too much of a hassle to kind of pull everything out. Um, so just to save time, I don't bring that anymore. Um, so we've got the spade, uh, that's for harvesting. The dibber is for planting. Arty cloak is for telly, ectophile for telly. Um, your compost, bottomless compost bucket is probably the best. Um, if you don't want to buy that, you could just have the compost stored in the tool leprechaun and you can grab it out. That'll take a little bit more time. Um, or you can use a lunar spell. Um, I forget what it's called, like fertile soil or something. You can bring the runes for that. And then, um, if you bring volcanic ash, it'll actually be ultra compost. Um, so that's an alternative. Um, your seeds, I grow snapdragons just because I believe that's the best profit. Um, if you're doing it for XP, um, just do the highest herb. Um, if you're doing it for profit, definitely do snapdragons. I did torstals until I got to 99 because that was a good mix between XP and profit. Um, construction cape is for teleports. Um, just bring house tabs if you don't have that. And then the stony salt and the icy salt are also for teleports. Um, and I believe that's everything. I'll talk about more alternatives once I get started. Um, so the first place I go is the stony place and I use that to, that'll be my noted herb spot there. Um, and you'll see how that works out in a second. Um, if you want to be even more efficient you can sit here and kind of spam. That's probably really loud for you. Um, but that makes you harvest faster. And then just compost and plant and I do not run over there and note here because it's kind of that's a bit of a run. Just go to the next place and then you can click over here. Clean while you're moving. It's kind of a handy little tip. And then just start picking the next one. Alright, and then the next place is your ectophile place in Mauritania. Uh, so you just get here and run over here. And then the next place I go, don't note here because that's also a really kind of a run. Um, next place is the glade that I do. My order is just kind of based on noting efficiency so that you don't have to run across like in that last place it's kind of a waste of time to run all the way over there. 
So a lot of the, a lot of these places I'll note at the next place. Or here I'll I'll note when I get here and then when I leave as well. And then the next place I go is Artie. And if you don't have that cloak, um, just the normal teleport to Artie and then kind of run all the way around. That's how I used to do it. And don't know here again. And the next place I go is the Falador patch. Um, if you don't have that ring to get here, the um, the best, the next best way is just to use the glory and go to Draenor. Um, that's how I used to do it and run here. If for some reason you have a spirit tree that you can grow, you could put one just to the south of here. Um, that might be handy, but probably just the glory is the best way to get here if you don't have that ring. The ring's worth it though. Uh, again, don't note here, note at the next place. And the next place that I go is Catherby, um, which I have the the Lunar Spell in my Portal Nexus here, which is really handy. Um, it's a lot, not a lot closer, but it's pretty close. Um, if you don't have that, if you don't have lunars or you don't have it in your house or whatever um, definitely just the camelot teleport is the other the next best way to get here also side note here is like the best yield place if you have the diaries done you can really get a lot as i only get 10 but you can get a lot of herbs from this patch at a time. I think that's the most I've gotten. I don't remember. Um, note here, obviously. It's really close. And then the next place we will go is probably the highest level patch. You might not have this one. Um, but if you do have it, again, I use my uh, Portal Nexus as a teleport in it. Harmony Island here. It takes the Elite Diaries for... Um, Mauritania to get, which is like a 92 fishing requirement or something, or 90, I boosted for, whatever, 96. And then the last place is the farming guild, of course. first and then harvest here. Um, also if you use rune light it has this handy little uh, timer for your crops. There's, uh, I think it has one for everyone but the herb one obviously because we're doing herbs. Um, it'll tell you when everything's done um, so you can if you're doing something else like uh, whatever another skill you can just keep an eye on this and then do a run whenever they finish. You can get a lot of runs. It takes about 90 minutes, I think, for a full full life cycle, and I just also messed up. Um, the reason I end here is because I usually do my farming contract, because that also makes you a bit of extra money, um, which is from this lady over here, depending on your farming level. Um, right now I have one that's a herb contract, I need to grow cat and time. I just plan to watch that dragon. Um, and also from here, once I'm finished, I uh, usually I'll do my spory if I haven't. That's another good uh, thing to do. It's a lot of farming XP and also you get seeds for this patch here. But you can get seeds that um, increase the yield, you can get a seed that uh, decreases the chance for disease, and you can also get a seed that speeds up the growing time. Um, so those are all pretty cool. I usually use the um, increased yield one because uh, my, my herbs don't really get diseased too much and the time one I just don't really bother with because a lot of times I don't even do my runs on time um, and 
let's see also if you're wondering about how much money this makes usually I average about uh, you'll get like on average eight herbs per patch so you can kind of do the difference here um, for what we got that's that's how many seeds we used and this is the what we made so a little less than 300k so that's pretty good for whatever five minutes or so um, you might get a little less than that if you don't have the cape. The cape gives plus 5%, or it's like 5% chance to not use the life or something weird. Um, the secatures give plus 5, and then the... Or I think those are 10, actually. And then the, the adders plant or whatever gives 5, I think. I don't know, don't quote me on that. But those are all really handy. And then the diary boosts at, some of the, at one of the patches. Um, but yeah, you can make a decent amount of money, and it's really good XP. I did like torch bulls and uh, contracts to 99. Um, it's a lot of money and a lot of XP, and it's just passive too. So a really good thing to do between whatever you're doing, or if you just don't really play very much, um, kind of wake up, do a run, do one before you go to bed. It's just something to do when you have time. Uh, but yeah, that's how I do it. So thanks for watching. See ya. Hey guys, so today I was going to make a tutorial, no, no, it's not a tutorial, 